It has long been thought that the human bioelectric field can be manipulated in order to affect the healing process. It is certain that the body has inherent weekly electrical properties at a muscular and microscopic level. Therefore, is it possible that a symbiotic relationship between humans and electric fish can be affected through passive and active electronic media? Enki uses the bioelectric signals from live electric fish to control an immersive sensory environment designed to alter states of consciousness and produce potentially healing effects. Enki is a real and functional technology. It allows electric fish and humans to commune on the same level, that of electrical fields and brainwaves, avoiding the use of language as such, instead stimulating a shared empathy through actual physical connection. Electric fish have been used medically and therapeutically for thousands of years. In ancient times, the Greeks and Romans considered the torpedo fish to have magical properties, and during the Middle Ages, the capacities of electric fish were sought for their vital force. Now new technology allows us to learn more about the electric fish and explore new possibilities. Today we know these fish have high intelligence, memory and learning ability and are used in neuroscientific research for human benefit. recognize electrical images or changes in environmental electric connectivity. They are able to recognize and remember complex shapes, materials and sense tiny creatures in zero optical visibility. Therefore, is it possible that these fish with such a sensitive electric perception can be aware of a human presence or even sense the subtle electrical fields that we generate? What if anything can these fish tell us about ourselves? The African momerids generate electrical pulses at variable amplitude and frequency, as do most commercially available electrotherapeutic technologies. These include electroacupuncture, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, as well as other more extreme forms of electroconvulsive therapy. The Amazonian knifefish naturally generate a continuous tone, like a sine wave. Each species has its own specific frequency. When interacting with each other, they generate what is known as a binaural frequency. The psychoacoustic effect of these binaural tones on humans is known as brainwave entrainment. Enki makes use of this natural response, converting the electrical signals into both light and sound, exposing this directly to the ears and eyes of the human in a controlled environment. The aim is to induce the frequency following response of the brain, and ultimately brainwave synchronization. This means the Enki interface allows the fish to control the brain state of the human subject, interacting directly with the human brain as if it were another fish of the same species. The Enki project uses MaxMSP to analyze the electrical signals from the fish using audio analysis, as well as a USB interface which is used to collect the data about the movement of the fish and output feedback signals to the fish. EEG and galvanic sensors monitor the stress levels and brain state of the human subject. In this way we are able to monitor the behaviour and physiological states of both fish and human. The aim is to achieve true interaction and harmony between species. <laughs>